So to begin, I am doubling the recipe, so I will need Cool Whip, Oreos, brownies, and Jello, as you see, and this is enough for two recipes. Start by putting the Cool Whip in the freezer and setting your oven. So I'm going to preheat mine to 325. And make sure that there's nothing in the oven. So to begin, I am going to open the box of brownies. I'm going to make the brownies to add oil, water, and eggs. Just follow the directions on whatever brownie box of your choice. And I like to use a fork to whisk together my wet ingredients first. I find a fork to be an easy whisk. So now I'm going to add my brownie mix and whisk that together. So I'm going to be stirring it until there is no chunks. Now I'm going to use a wooden spoon and stir together as smooth as possible. So about two minutes until it's the right consistency. So then I'm going to coat my pans in coconut oil and spread it around really well with a paper napkin. And then I will add my brownie mix to the pan. you get every last drop and then we will put that in the oven and I'm going to set the timer on my box it calls for 45 minutes so I will set it for 40 to check before so next step is the jello we need two boxes for one dish but remember I'm doubling so it, my directions call for two cups of cold milk to one package of Jello. So I'm going to repeat that process for four packages of Jello. So eight cups of milk and four packages of Jello. So after the powder is poured directly into the cold milk, you're just going to stir it and whisk it together for about five minutes until thickened. On the box it says you can use the jello right away, but we're gonna store the jello in the fridge for at least one hour before adding to our dessert. So please let it cool in the refrigerator for one hour. And lastly, we need to crush the Oreos. So one package of Oreos, Put it in one gallon sized Ziploc bag and crush away. Check to see if the brownies are done. And there's Ela. The brownies were done, so I'm going to cut them into cubes. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's just going to crumble. Now the fun part comes, so we're going to layer it. So the first layer is the brownies. Second layer is the pudding. And third layer is the Cool Whip, but I recommend taking the Cool Whip out of the freezer 20 minutes prior, because as you can see, I had a hard time spreading it around, but trust me, it was still delicious. The fourth layer should be the Oreo cookie, but I forgot, so let's restart the process with a layer of brownies, some more pudding, a generous amount because pudding is delicious, crushed Oreos, and then the rest of the quip. Spread it nice and evenly and garnish with the last of the Oreos. Cover 
and put it back in the fridge until it's ready to enjoy. Thanks for watching.